that rings true and they don't hear the rest of the story. The other thing that, that ideology does, and the, the radical leftists are all, also very good at this, is that it provides you with a locale, a convenient locale for the, for the uh, existence of evil. And so if you reflexively identify the patriarchy with evil, well, first of all, that's a powerful idea. It's it, independent of its broad merit. It's, a, it's true. Now, it's not the only truth, and it's not the complete truth, but it's true. The reason it's true is because every hierarchical system, hierarchical system degenerates, tends to degenerate in the direction of power. And all hierarchical systems are less than they could be. And that's partly because of the possibility that power and deceit will corrupt them, but also partly because we're willfully blind and deceitful in our own personal lives. And so when you tell young people that the cause of the trouble they see around them in the world, and maybe even the disquiet in their own heart, is the malevolent inadequacy of their society, that rings true. And they don't hear the rest of the story, you know, and it's the rest of the story that I've been trying to tell. They don't hear the story that, yeah, don't forget about the evil and corruption that exists in your own heart. And don't forget about the fact that nature, this wondrous goddess as portrayed by the anti-human environmentalists, and I, by that I don't mean all environmentalists, by the way, that wonderful goddess nature is also trying to make you ill and kill you at all times. And so, but the story that corruption exists in hierarchical structure and that that's a consequence of malevolence, the malevolent use of power and deceit, that's true. So it's very motivating, especially if you're young and you're looking for an adventure. Now it's also too convenient, which is one of its tr tremendous dangers because unless you're taught to look within and identify the malevolence there as the primary moral obligation, then you now have an excuse and a moral justification to take out all of your negative emotion, your hostility, your resentment, everything about you that's unexamined on the demonic enemy. And of course, that's, that, that, that degenerates with extraordinary rapidity as, we, as we've seen over and over and over. So it's up to the it's up to the centrists on both sides to to deal with this. I've been talking to a lot of the optimist rationalist types on my podcast, Matt Ridley and Bjorn Lomberg and well and Height and, and Pinker more more distantly, but more recently, uh Lomberg and, and Ridley and and uh Marion Tupi, who who's written a lovely book on uh human progress, uh Ten Things Everyone Needs to Know About Human Progress. It's something like that, huh? Anyways. One of the things we discussed consistently was the difficulty in promoting the message that all three of these men are very aware of, which is that from a material perspective, in terms of absolute privation worldwide, humanity is way better off on virtually every dimension you could possibly measure than ever. And, and most of that improvement has occurred in the last 40 years, and it's been revolutionary in its speed. And no one knows this. And so it's very important to know, to try to think through why that is. Like, that's such a positive message. Now, I talked to Russell Brandt about this, and I'm bringing him up for a reason. He's, he's a lefty by temperament and by heart. And his first objection, but he's very thoughtful and quick, his first objection, you know, I pointed out all this data showing that by every possible objective measure, everything is way better than it was certainly 100 years ago, but certainly even 20 years ago, um, even on the environmental front in the main. And he said, well, what about disparity of distribution? So there's the problem of absolute level of wealth, let's say, that's improving, but there is still tremendous disparity. And of course, that that is fair enough. You could even point out that the role of the left is to provide a conscientious voice for for that's constantly attending to the fact of continuing disparity regardless of absolute level of wealth. And, and fair enough, but, but having said all that, it's a great mystery that incremental optimism is not sufficiently motivating. And you can't just wish human nature is gonna change. It's not gonna change. We gotta tell a better story. 
And I also think that's why I'm a target, I think, is because I am actually trying to tell a better story and I'm actually having some success with it.